introductory video for the 29th of September 2020. A week ago I came over here with the intention of doing a circular walk including the area of outstanding beauty but I had to cut it short down through Long Sheepfield because the weather changed drastically by the time I got out of this wood. It went grey, threatening with rain, windy. Now today we've got wind of about three. In fact there's no wind at the moment because we're in the wood. But I've um, been quite breathless so I've only just turned the video in for a quick video as I walk through this wood which is near the Cheddar Gorge, very close. And down the hill there, there's a like a more direct route up, which you can take. Most people do. I've, I did it last time, but it nearly killed me last time because, well, today my breathing is quite laboured, I'd say. It has been. I mean, I've gone the hill, but of course then I had breakfast. I'm doing an earlier start now with the going back to the nine o'clock bus. When I was doing the 10 o'clock, it actually did suit me better, really, but it gave me less time. It gave me more time to come round and um, things like that. Yeah, so over there, there's a main track that goes up. I'm more likely to go down it than up it these days. But this is the alternative route that I'm doing. Somebody coming. Story of my life. So anyway, I'm making my way up and I'm going towards Piney Slides. Some of it's a repeat of a week ago. Only I'm going to try and turn left instead of right when I get to the end of Piney Slides Farm driveway. That's plan A. That was plan A last week, but the weather changed. <sighs> Today I'm hoping to do it, because everywhere's being locked down again. It's starting to squeeze everyone again. So I'm trying to make the most of the bus service while I can because then I'll have to do everything on, on foot and that won't mean coming out here although I could cycle out to Cheddar easy but not do a walk and cycle back now I, I would have done when I was younger God, I used to do loads when I was younger I just think to myself God, you're getting older, Shell but I've got like indigestion at the moment through rushing my breakfast, even though I got up at quarter to seven. Um, it's surprising how that extra hour in the morning when the bus didn't come to ten allowed me to breathe a bit before I come out. But never mind, we can't have it always. I've got the extra two hours. I've got extra two hours of walking, which is supposed to allow me to do the walk I want to do today. But I won't feel better until I've got up to Piney Slides, because at the moment it levelled off a bit there, but I've got to go uphill again. So I'm going to turn off now. I'll be back on later. There's going to be a bang in a minute. Quarry siren's just gone off. Don't know if it'll pick it up on the camera. God, I hope the weather stays with me. It was like this last week. And it just changed as soon as I got up to Piney Slides. It could be that this already had a boom. I didn't hear it. That's very fresh pack, look. So I've come up from Cheddar. The only reason I've turned the video on so soon is because I was expecting a boom. Now it happened this time last week, exactly the same place. Blast! They set the siren off. But 
it's uh, stopped, so I can't hear no boom. Cheddar Gorge over there, look. There we are, it's a lovely day. Glastonbury Tor, right in the distance, I just zoomed in. Below that branch, there's Glastonbury, look. I bet if I turn the video off now, the boom will come. There's Glastonbury, shrouded in mist as usual this time of day. Yeah, I've been out here a lot, Nyland Mound, Brent Knoll. Cheddar Gorge over there. I'm only going to video until I just get up here a bit, just in case it suddenly happens. I don't think, I think it's happened. Because it, the siren stopped and the boom hasn't happened. It might have happened when I was in the wood and it got muffled. Right, change of clothes this week. Last week, I didn't have appropriate clothes on because the weather changed and it was cold and windy. Now this week, the rent's going to be hot and sunny. But I've put on walking trousers, light ones. They're very light. Um, they're very light indeed. And baggy so they keep you cool. I've got my red jumper on. Which is also quite baggy in a way because um, I had to wash the other one out. That's a summer jumper really and I'm going to start sorting out my winter clothes because I live in a cold Victorian building. I, I do bag up my clothes, vacuum, I vacuum bag them so that no mould and stuff can, or moths can live in your clothes while they're in storage and, they, and then they go in my tall boy so I'll have all my soon all my summer stuff will be washed out aired and vacuum packed and put in the tall boy and all the winter clothes winter woolies winter jeans everything like that will come out and um freshened up, ready for the the winter. But of course we could have, although we got storms predicted starting tomorrow with heavy rain and wind, that, we, we've been like this all year. We'll have a lovely hot sunny day and then the next day is totally different. I mean, I went out the other day um, over to Sand Bay. Now that was a lovely walk. The day after, totally miserable, the weather. Of course, I always keep my fingers crossed coming along here that the cows are ahead of me. They've been out for their early morning stroll. Um, there's evidence of them, but they tend to go up in the field. And it's about the same time as last... Well, it's exactly the same time as last week. Uh, I walked along here. Um, and it's probably on... On video as well. In fact, I think it's part one of the Cheddar Circular. Well, this is another circular, but it's a wider one. It's bigger. And it's going to include the area of Outstanding Beauty <sighs> over to Longwood. Through Longwood. Um, unless I decide to do Velvet Bottom, which I doubt it. The only reason I doubt it is I spent, because I'm a bit slow today, breathing wise. I can imagine that there won't be time for Velvet Bottom. And not only that, I can leave that for a short walk on another occasion. When I can walk along the gorge, do the gorge walk up through Black Rock and then Velvet Bottom and round. Um, see, there is a way here, which I have thought of doing. You go down there, you get over a stile, And you, um, you get up over that way, but look how fresh that cow pack is. Very, very fresh. And it looks like it's, well, there's a big pack there. Um, they might have gone uphill, but they might have gone down there, you see. 
So I don't want to get all the way down there and find I've got to come back. I can't, I can't have any delays. So basically I'm going straight up. Up through this little bit of a wood. And so like I said, it's a beautiful day. More cow pack. There's been some rain in the night. And um, everything looks a bit wet. I wouldn't want to meet the herd coming down here, but I think they move back. If you see the cow pack, they won't be back that quickly. That's theory. Right, over and out for a minute, folks. Like I say, you can go down there, then up that way. But I don't know if the cows are down there. I've got no idea where they are. So over and out. <sighs> 